Campbell Newman has been Premier for just six weeks and already he's handing significant powers back to his successor as Lord Mayor. To tell us more, we're joined by political reporter Leone Mellor. Leone, what exactly is he proposing here? Well, Bill, some key planning areas that used to come under state government control will now go back to City Hall, South Bank, the Roma Street Parklands, as well as new development areas around Woolloongabba, Bowen Hills near the RNA and North Shore Hamilton. It's a curious move to see anyone giving away hard-fought powers, but Mr Newman says this sort of planning control belongs rightly with local government. A new broom sweeping aside years of power struggles between state and local government. And they need the backup of the state rather than to be belted and bullied and bashed up as they have been in the last 20 years. Labor sees it differently. I believe it's an example of excessive power. Campbell Newman is handing back significant planning powers to his one-time deputy. South Bank and the Roma Street Parklands will now come under council control. They'll redevelop the Howard Smith Wharves. Twelve-storey buildings are likely to be approved for parts of the West End. And council will take over the Urban Land Development Authority with the same powers. They are handing that to council with the loss of third-party appeals by the community. As for what it means for the South Bank Corporation... Well, I think all that's up for grabs at the moment. And this is just the start. Mr Newman says all councils can expect greater power. That they make sure that they fast-track appropriate and sensible development uh, for the benefit of all people in Queensland. The actual detail of these changes is yet to be thrashed out. The Premier unable to say exactly how much they'll cost the state. But he says ratepayers won't pay. Ms Abrahams, who's fought against high-density housing at West End, says the cost won't just be financial. If they disregard this community, what other communities will they use their excessive powers to just impose overdevelopment? Helen Abrahams from Brisbane City Council there. You heard Mr Newman making it clear he wants development fast-tracked to fire up the state's economy. It must be music to the ears of all developers around the state. Opponents, of course, very nervous in terms of what this may mean to the environment and their suburbs. All right, thank you, Leanne Mellor.